relationships are being defined more by pop culture and what the world says than what the Word of God says. You know, all because I need to connect with my soulmate. And there's that one special cosmic being out there just for you. No, there's not. Okay? If love is sacrificial. It's not about you. It's selfless. It's for the betterment of others. It's sacrifice and it takes work. When you understand that feeling of love, especially what God gives you, it's amazing. And then when you get it reciprocated from a person that you're interested in, it feels extra amazing. And you want to do everything that you can to hold on we, to it. We see that you both have interest in one another. And what they are saying is we bless this relationship, we bless this interest, this guy is worth pursuing. The real paradigm for love is gardener flower. So the relationship that a gardener has with a flower is the, the gardener wants the flower to be what the flower is designed to be, not what the gardener wants the flower to be. You see, love liberates. It doesn't bind. Love says, I love you. I love you if you're in China. I love you if you're cross town. I love you if you're in Harlem. I love you.